He was a longtime Grand Rapids police officer, a community activist, a man who changed the way the department promotes racial minorities. Percy Brown, dead at the age of 57. 24 Hour News 8, Susan Shaw in studio with us now. Tell us about his legacy and the impact he's had on the city. Sue? That's right, Susie. Percy Brown patrolled Grand Rapids streets for nearly three decades. He retired several years ago, but his impact was felt long after he left his beat. Brown continued to volunteer at the Seedman Youth Center, making his mark with thousands of area kids. He started the center's youth football league and cheerleading programs. He's depicted in a Paul Collins mural at the center. But it was a court case filed in 1988 by Brown and seven others that changed the Grand Rapids police force forever. Brown won a multi-million dollar race discrimination lawsuit against the city for discrimination. As a result, GRPD changed the way it tests officers for promotions. Longtime friend, Grand Rapids Lieutenant Ralph Mason says Brown had a unique way of being strong yet gentle. He had a real soft way about him. Um, he could be tough as nails. Um, you, you really had no concerns if Percy Brown was at your side because you didn't have to worry about that side because Percy was there. But he also had a, a, a gentleness about him that uh, people just, just liked. And uh, that, was, that was always a real, real neat thing about Percy. Officer Brown's funeral will be held Monday at the Messiah Baptist Church in Grand Rapids. There will be a public visitation from noon to 1 o'clock on Monday. The service will be from 1 to 2. Officer Brown will then be transported to his hometown of Memphis for an additional service and burial. Brown is survived by one son and one daughter, four sisters, and two brothers.